Hey guys, I know I sh I'm so casual right now, but I've been wanting to make a video for y'all. I'm just so tired. And um, the Lord wants us to rest, but this video is about uh, some of the reasons why I believe in a pre-tribulation rapture. Um, and remember, we don't want to look at the rapture as like with a, an escapist mentality because there's work to do. And um, harvest the harvest of, of souls is more important than us escaping. If you're saved, you need to, to rejoice that your name is written in the book of life and live a holy life. Amen. Um, but in the meantime, until the rapture comes, we need to be reflecting the, the glory of, of Jesus. Anyways, though, the reasons, there's so many reasons why I do believe in a pre-tribulation rapture, but one reason is, um, the restrainer. The restrainer is mentioned in second Thessalonians chapter two, verses five through 10. It says that the restrainer is the one who restraining. And when the restrainer, when, when he removes the restrainer, he will be taken out of the way. And then the lawless one will be revealed. And then the lawless one will be, you know, working in the power of Satan with signs, miracles, and wonders. So the restrainer is currently restraining, all right, the full, like right now, evil, there's a, rest, there's a restraint against the fullness of evil on the earth because of the presence of the Holy Spirit in believers. So I believe that the restrainer is the Holy Spirit in believers because we're the light. So once the light is removed, then that gives full authority for Satan on earth without restraint. Spend some time in that. Um, another reason I believe in a pre-tribulation rapture is because of the scripture in Revelation 3, 7 through 13. Okay, with the faithful church, Jesus gives no word of rebuke or correction for the faithful church. And he says, I will keep you from the hour of trial that's going to test those on the earth. I'm not quoting it exactly, um, but just read it, okay? It says, Jesus says, I will, I will keep you from the hour of trial that will come upon the earth to test the inhabitants of the earth. All right, so I believe that the Lord's going to preserve us from that hour of trial. Um, the hour of trial, which is referred to as the tribulation, which is when the lawless one's going to be revealed, which we read in Second Thessalonians, when the restrainer is removed, which I believe when the church, the faithful church is removed and the light, the spirit-filled Christians are removed. Um, and another scripture would be, for example, in Matthew 25, 1 through like 15, I think, but it's the parable of the, the foolish and wise virgins and with, with the oil and the lamp. Um, the five wise virgins had oil and did not let their lamps go out. The five foolish virgins did not have oil. And when the bridegroom came the in the, in the nighttime, um, the, the wise virgins went into the bridegroom and then the door was shut, but the foolish virgins remained. It doesn't say the end happened then. No, it says then the Lord said, you know, behold, I never knew you. Um, wait now. I can't remember exactly what it says, but basically wait now until the son of man comes. Again, this is showing that the bridegroom's going to come for those who are ready. He's going to take them in to the banquet, the wedding banquet, and then the door's going to be shut. And those who were not ready were shut out. And then they have to wait now until the Son of Man comes. So the Son of Man comes is different than, right? The Son of Man comes, it says, the Bible says immediately after the tribulation, right? Then the Son of Man comes. So Jesus coming, the Son of Man coming is as after this period of tribulation. Okay, after the lawless one is revealed. Okay, but before that is when the bridegroom will come, right? When will we be caught up? This word harpazo, we will be caught up and we will transform in the twinkling of an eye, right? Then tribulation comes and the son of man comes. There's many more scriptures why I also believe in a, a pre-tribulation rapture, but I just have had it on my spirit the last few days. Um, that's three scripture references right there that I believe support a pre-tribulation rapture. Again, it's not an escapist mentality, but I do believe that that is the order um, that is being prophesied in the Bible. Anyways, love you guys. God bless you. If you're new here, please subscribe for more content, for more Christian content. Um, please like and share this video and I'll see you guys next time.